After the notorious B.I.G. lost his life to gun violence in 1997, Bad Boy founder Sean Puff Daddy Combs was left to rehabilitate the label's image. Thankfully, he had no shortage of brilliant artists who kept cranking out hits, such as rapper Travel G. Depp Coleman. He gave us the song Let's Get It and had everyone doing the Harlem Shake to his track Special Delivery. If you don't remember him, it's probably because he only released one album through Bad Boy Records before getting dropped from the label. So what happened? It was just so out of his character that it was, it, it was mind-blowing. Don't forget, you can gain access to this audio and one unreleased super messy video per month on the RRG Patreon. Details are in the description box. Now, grab your favorite snack and join us as we take a trip back to early 1993. G-Dep was an 18-year-old freshman at Iona College. He told New York Mag that after one semester, he called his mom and told her, I'm leaving school because I want to be a rapper. His mom was confused and disappointed. She told him if he dropped out, he would have to fend for himself. So he left school and moved in with his grandmother in an East Harlem housing project. To make ends meet, he sold cocaine. After saving up $500, he bought a 40 caliber weapon. Whatever was left from selling substances, he used to book sessions at a recording studio in the Bronx. In October 1993, 18-year-old g Depp decided to rob someone to make some money. He climbed onto his bike and started riding and eventually found his target. g Depp said he got off his bike and approached a man smoking a cigarette on Park Avenue and 114th Street. He told the man several times, give me the money. g Depp told ABC News the man was unresponsive, but when the man came toward him and tried to grab the weapon from his hand, g Depp pulled the trigger three times. As the man slumped over, g Depp jumped on his bike and left. He made it back to his grandmother's house, stashed the weapon in his dresser, and collapsed on the bed. He told the New York mag that with his head buried in the pillow, he replayed the incident over and over again in his mind. He hoped that maybe the incident never even happened. Maybe it was all a really bad dream. He didn't tell anyone about what happened that night and continued his usual daily routine. The next morning, the police were canvassing the neighborhood. They stopped him and asked, Do you know anything about a shooting that occurred yesterday? g Dub told them he wasn't aware of anything. Since they referred to the incident as a shooting instead of a murder, g Dub was hopeful that the man was still alive. A week later, he threw the weapon in the East River. From that point on, he poured all of his time and energy into his music, but the incident continued to haunt him. Ten days later, he got locked up for selling crack. He thought for sure the cops would connect him to the other crime, but they didn't. The court treated him as a youthful offender. They sealed his record and sent him on his way. As the years passed by, his mom could tell something was up. She told New York Mag g Depp was always soft-spoken, but he became even more of an introvert. She said he stopped smiling. I couldn't understand why he was so serious. In 1996, he was locked up three times during a two-month time period for selling substances and was sentenced to seven months behind bars. Upon his release, 22-year-old g Depp was becoming well-known on New York's underground hip-hop scene. Since he didn't want to spend the rest of his 20s behind bars, he decided it was time to take his music seriously. His neighborhood acquaintance, Robert Ross, who rapped under the nickname Black Rob, put him on two of his songs on his debut album, Life Story. After hearing g Depp in the studio, a bad boy executive pulled him aside and asked if he wanted to join the label. g Depp decided he wanted Puffy to meet up with him in his Harlem housing project first. So one day, Puffy called him and said, I got the silver car coming to get you. g Depp went outside to wait for his ride, and when the silver car pulled up, it was a Bentley with 22-inch rims. Puffy made g Depp an official part of the Bad Boy family by offering him a five-album deal and $350,000 up front. g Depp signed on the dotted line. Originally known as Ghetto Dependent, he dropped the name because he thought it was too long and started calling himself g Depp instead. 
His first album, Child of the Ghetto, was released in 2001, and it changed his life. He and his girlfriend and their three-year-old daughter were able to move out of East Harlem and into a townhouse in Scotch Plains, New Jersey. Even though he was far away from East Harlem, he grew more and more paranoid that the police would catch him. He started smoking PCP because he said it was the only thing that stopped the voices in his head from tormenting him about what he did. By the end of 2002, he was broke. He lost his lease on the townhouse in New Jersey, packed his family up, and moved back to the housing projects in East Harlem. Not only was his career going down the drain, but he was once again just a block away from the scene of the crime. Not long after moving back to East Harlem, he lost his beloved grandmother and he was dropped from Bad Boy. When iHipHop.com asked him to explain what happened between him and Puffy, g Depp said, It was one of those things where I was doing whatever I wanted to do, and we just fell off the same page with each other. To deal with all the losses, he began smoking more and more. As he fell deeper into his addiction, he got locked up 17 times between 2003 and 2007. He and his girlfriend broke up, and in 2004, he married a woman named Crystal Sutton. They welcomed twin boys, but his addiction to PCP made their relationship tumultuous. She enrolled him in rehab programs, only for him to drop out. Several years after they got married, he opened up to her about the night when he shot a man. She said she didn't know whether to believe him or not because the PCP always made him say crazy things. She even had him admitted into the psych ward on three different occasions. g Dub opened up about that night to his mom and a friend as well. His mom responded by saying, Well, that was a long time ago. That was in the past. In 2007, he released a joint album called Bad Boy with his former label mate, Loon. After a brief hiatus, he released some mixtapes, and in 2010, he dropped the album Ghetto Legend. But he still couldn't kick his bad habits. In the spring of 2010, he woke up in a hospital bed with a fractured skull, stitches in his head, and a bandage over one eye. He had no idea what happened. Last that he remembered, he was smoking PCP and wandered out onto the street. Thankful that he didn't lose his life, he entered a 30-day rehab program in June 2010, followed by outpatient treatment. But he still got locked up two more times for smoking PCP in a stairwell of the housing projects. g Dep thought the arrests were his karma because the projects overlooked the same spot where he fired his weapon back in 1993. By the end of 2010, he had nothing. He and his wife separated, and he had no car, no job, and no apartment of his own. He was finally ready to confess. He headed to the police station and told a detective that he had shot someone and he wanted to turn himself in. He told ABC News the detective told him, Listen, that was a long time ago. Give me your number and I'll call you. But the detective never called. A representative for the police told New York Mag that g Depp was, quote, high as a kite when he was at the station. On the night of December 15, 2010, he turned himself in again. I, 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 rode, I rode the bike over. I rode the bike in the, in the neighborhood for a, like a couple of minutes. Then I just uh, went, to, I went towards Park Avenue, and I saw a guy standing there. Uh, like he was smoking a cigarette or something like that. I just approached him, and then when I, when I approached him, I asked him where the money was. At the end of his confession, g Depp said, The reason I turned myself in was because I felt awful about what I did, and I wanted to make it right for this guy's family. The police soon found a match to a cold case murder of 32-year-old John Hinkle, it was later revealed the victim had been shot in the chest, abdomen, and back. His wallet contained only $6, and a toxicology report showed the victim also had PCP in his system. g Depp went from confessing to shooting someone to being charged with murder, but he still didn't regret coming clean. A New York Post reporter asked the victim's stepbrother about g Depp's confession, and the stepbrother said, I think he's an idiot. He has three kids and a wife. It was years and years and years ago, after all this time, 
Yes, he just should have shut up. Even though there were numerous discrepancies between G-Dep's confession and the actual facts, such as the color of the victim's hair, the color of his jacket, and the time of year when the incident occurred, he was found guilty. Three weeks later, 38-year-old G-Dep was sentenced to 15 years to life. In an interview, he said, It just seemed to me like the end of a nightmare. I was living in 1993 for 17 years. While behind bars, he and his wife got divorced. In 2017, he got married at the Elmira Correctional Facility to a woman named Latika Coleman. She told WHIHH during their wedding ceremony, G. Depp wrapped his vows to her in front of a small crowd of their loved ones. She also stated many artists who G. Depp considered to be his friends turned their backs on him. Some people said they would assist him in some way, but they never came through. Aside from creating a docu-series with his wife called No Ordinary Love, G. Depp created a non-profit organization called the Greater Wealth Foundation. According to Behind the Rhyme website, the foundation is focused on tackling issues that deal with the mistreatment of inmates. G. Depp will be eligible for parole in 2025 at the age of 51, but there's no guarantee the parole board will release him. For now, he spends his time writing. In an interview, he said he's finally able to write easily since he's no longer fixated on the past. Let us know if you're shocked by what happened to G. Depp. And thanks for watching Real Reality Gossip.